Hey Incas and Heavy Thinkers, welcome back to another exciting episode. C is for compass. This is how to draw an old school compass tattoo. First we draw a circle, then another circle inside it. A vertical line, horizontal line. We're just drawing the star points. Try mirror it. It's not exactly perfect, but um, that's okay. And now we do 45 degree angles, lines, and form the stars here. And do the north, south, east, west. And now we're just drawing in a um, rose tattoo. So a circle and a V shape. And the other petals. And the inner bud. And a few leaves. Just um, roughing them in at the moment. And we'll do another one over here. I'll turn upside down so I can see. And the same thing, like a V-shape. And the other petals also. So this is a quite organic and rough and um, just how nature was intended. And we'll draw some reeds here just to tie it in a little bit more. So it's overlapping the compass. So giving a little bit of uh, foreground and background going on. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do the lines, my marker here. Using a fine line marker. So like, um, a lot of old school tattoos are, are nautical and, and stuff like that. And a lot of first, like, for this style, a lot of those like Navy and um, Army during the um, Second World War, they would get tattoos, like Hawaii or whatever, you know, like Sailor Jerry type style. Yeah. And I think, um, like the nautical thing is like, I mean the compass is like finding your way home, finding your way through storms and stuff like that. And finding direction, you know. So it's a good little um, um, motif thing, a little bit of meaning. Okay, just uh, inking up the second rose. Lining it. Yeah. Roses are quite um quite a good element to add into any like tattoo just gives it a little bit more just an extra dimension to anything and look quite quite nice. And we'll just finish this read. Nice. So north, east, south and west. We'll do this um, this nautical star here. So the nautical star is quite cool. It's just like usually just two colors, black and white, but it's got that three kind of three dimensional look to it, which is quite nice. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to um, put 
put that black in this bad boy. Yeah, so just send the tips of the stars. So you can't do the ultimate. So this one's on the right side, and this one's on the left side. The other one's on the left side. That type of thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm just going to do some spit shading in the roses now. So just um, black, then like another brush. I'll use two brushes, one for black and one for just water. And um, yeah, I used to use spit, but um, you know, I'm just going to use water. So yeah, it's a bit tricky to get the consistency right. So you're trying to make it go from dark to lighter, lighter shades of gray out to the edges. Whoa thing so it can be a little bit tricky sometimes it's quite hot today so um, probably sometimes the black's drying a bit quicker than I like it to dry but that's all good Yeah, we'll do the reed now. So just adding that water just to get that gradient. So when the color goes on top, it'll have this um, kind, of, kind of a 3D effect. Give a bit of depth to it and stuff. And the black always holds the, um, like in a raw tattoo, it holds the um, tattoo together a bit more. So that, especially on old school tattoos, they um, they do this a lot. Put a lot of black in there, then add the color over top. Okay, then this rose now. Yeah, so just adding that water again, trying to get it where I want it. That's a bit better. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So I'm just doing it out a bit. Yeah, it gives a little bit of a 3D thing going on. That's cool. We'll do that. And a bit of the compass just to make it stand out a bit more so it looks like there's glass on top a little bit. Finishing that last bit that comes up. So we'll just finish this last read. Yeah, that's fading out quite nice. To get the nice gradient going on.
I forgot about this one. Let's do it now. Yep. And then we'll just add some color. So the traditional colors, I think, are just um, red, yellow, and green, usually, and sometimes purple. And I think we'll just use those colors today. I'm quite limited to the colors back in the day. But it's also nice to have a simple like color palette, color palette going on. Makes it a little bit less complicated, I guess. So the green, now we do the red for roses. So I'm not always going out to the um, very edge with the rose, so it gives a little bit of a highlight. Just using the paper as a highlight, so I'll leave that white kind of line around it, most of it. Yeah, so traditional tattoos are quite um, bright, bold. And simple, kind of a simplistic style. Do the other rows also. I want to red for the points of the star. I'll just put a bit of darker red in here, just make the transition a little bit um, more obvious, I guess. Make it less flat. The black kind of helps, but yeah. Just give it a little bit more dimension. Do the other one also. Okay, we'll just add some yellow in. Gold. compass also. It's like a brass one or something. I don't know. And uh, bits of the leaves.
Okay. And that's it. Thanks for watching.